What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm James and today I want to talk about my newest skill set, digital lettering. So here I am using the Adobe Illustrator uh, software. I'm sure you're familiar with it or at least heard of it. Um, and uh, I'm really excited because this is really taking my comic book pages to the next level of professionalism. And I think it looks great, as you can see here. So good. Um, compared to what I've been doing with my chicken scratch, uh, just handwriting and um, not at all nice looking ovals that I was, draw that I was drawing by hand. So yeah, um, just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, so it's super simple actually. Um, it's honestly just uh, an oval shape, a uh, little bit of words thrown in there, and then a triangle-ish shape. And uh, simple as that, I just put them on top of each other and then bam, um, it's easy as that. So today's episode is an exciting one. This is page 14 of my original comic book story, Caveman Bob, and I am doing some different things with this page. Um, for one, I am inking this with a new ink than I did previously. Um, I was using the Amsterdam acrylic inks, just using the black ink to do all my black inking. Um, but this time I am using a Speedball Super Black ink to do the inking. And uh, just kind of trying it out because I just bought it and thought it would be fun to give it a try. And um, it works great, you know. I, I still still trying to decide which one I like better, but they both work pretty good. I really am a big fan of the Amsterdam ink. I don't know why yet. Maybe it's the thickness, but it works so good. But I like the Speedball too. It, the first time using it, um, you know, it performed well. So I'm, I'm just inking over the pencil sketches that I did. Uh, this page is if you haven't been following along, it's pretty much about, um, it, this is Marta telling, you know, Bob and everybody kind of the story behind the perfect sphere. And uh, now we're skipping ahead to after I've already painted it with um, those Amsterdam acrylic inks that I have been using. And uh, this is the top panel here. Um, I have not lettered this yet. I, I've decided, I kind of sort of finished, but I decided that it needed a little bit more solid black. So I'm going in um, with solid black. And this is kind of risky. I did a short video <laughs> quickly talking about this, but what I'm doing here is a little risky. Um, I, normally I will sketch out something with pencil first and make sure I like how it looks before I just go in with the inks, but I am just, YOLOing it today, going straight in with black ink, just ris risking ruining my uh, page that I spent kind of a long time on to get to this part, uh, to get to this stage, you know, spent like, you know, a few hours getting this far. So, um, but yeah, I'm feeling brave today, the day that I did this, and um, I'm just going for it. And honestly, I like it. I like how it turned out. Here, let me jump ahead a little bit. To show you kind of what it looks like. So see how the framing, oh I didn't, went too far, see how the framing, maybe if I move my head, it uh, you can see how like, you know, it almost makes it look like you're looking into the cave, you know, through like, I guess a hole or whatever, I don't know. I think it looks good. So I just, I thought it was a good move on my part and um, I'm just going through here you know just adding more black I thought this would be a fun effect oh let me get my big head out of the way hold on Wink. yep so I thought I thought this would be a fun effect um, you know adding some like dry brush kind of like almost speed lines sort of the same effect but you know I thought that was kind of cool and then I ended up I ended up just see these see these guys right here these two dudes uh, the guards pulling the priest away uh, 
yeah, I decided just to fully black him out too, or both of them out too, because I was thinking about it, I'm like, they're not really that important, I don't need to throw much detail into it, so I just, um, I just blacked them out, and I, I actually love it. I think I'm going to start doing more just large areas of solid black, because it really is impactful, like the contrast that it gives. I'm realizing, like, especially, like, see these little scratchy, like, ch -ch 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 lines? I honestly should have just completely blacked both of those out. I think that would look good, too. So, yeah, so this has been going pretty good. Just jumping in with the paintbrush, adding some more stalactites and stalagmites. Okay, guys, well, that's my video. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, click that like button. It really helps motivate me. And um, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Also, uh, I'd like to know, do you like the new uh, digital lettering I'm doing? Um, if so, mention it in the comments. Um, if you like my handwritten um, chicken scratch lettering, also let me know. If you'd also like to uh, see a future video about the me kind of giving my thoughts and opinions on the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, um, let me know in the comments. Thanks guys and have a great day.